Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. Post-fight review for Justice Hooney and Kevin Lorena, which was on the undercard of Francis Ngannou and Anthony Joshua, the knockout chaos card in Saudi Arabia. And what a dramatic ending to that fight. Justice Hooney is rocked by a massive shot, but manages to stay on his feet despite his legs looking gone and he'd be stopped for all money. But Lorena unable to finish the show. And because Hooney had banked a lot of the later rounds in the fight, he walks away with a decision, unanimous decision, 98-92, 96-94 on two cards. My card, 97-93, Justice Hooney. But there was a swing round that I could have given to Lorena. So I think the scoring was fair and an accurate reflection of the fight. But dramatic moments were dotted in this one, including that 10th round, which we'll talk about um, first. It was a case, Justice Hooney looked like he was coasting to a decision win here. But he gets caught with a big left hook. And he'd been caught with uh, a couple of big shots earlier in the fight as well, round two. But this was the most uh, dramatic um, effect uh, and impact on him from the shot and through the fight of any shot. And he really had the stanky leg. So, yeah, it was just unfortunate, I guess, from Kevin Lorena's perspective that he was gassed out and unable to find a shot to uh, basically end the fight. There was more than a minute that Justice Hooney had to survive on, um, you know, shaky legs legs but credit to him he managed to get through and obviously get this decision but Lorena you know he looked for all money pretty much out of the fight and that this was sort of almost sleepwalking the last final few rounds to a decision but obviously he never gave up and full credit to Kevin Lorena as well for continuing to uh, be in this fight tonight because you had a, a situation this week his mother died and he continued uh, with the fight he looked emotional uh, on his ring walk, and those first couple of rounds, a lot of success. Second round, he rocked Justice Hooney uh, first with a big left hand, and then later in that round uh, with a, a right hook. So you had a case that Justice Hooney was trying to trade with Kevin Lorena early in that second round, kind of akin a little bit to some of the way that he's fought previous opposition. But um, Kevin Lorena is the best opponent, I believe, that Justice Hooney has faced to date. And, you know, it was not without a few rocky moments for Hooney. So good rounds, good win, good development fight for Justice Hooney. But there are some question marks. But for the most part in this fight, once he decided to just back off and uh, box a bit more, which was also a little bit of a change from um, some of his previous fights. He decided he wanted to uh, box and move a bit more. The footwork was good. Uh, the jab could have been a bit more consistent, but from round three on, he responded well after a pretty shaky round two after getting clipped twice and uh, looking uh, rocked and managed to uh, gradually pick up the rounds as Kevin Lorena was tiring. You had Justice Hooney working body and head, trying to either split the guard, go around the guard and consistently throwing to the body with both hands. And Lorena, as the fight wore on, you know, would fight in little spurts and have um, some odd success, but... I would say, especially round five to round nine, it was pretty much all Justice Hooney, except round seven was a bit of a toss-up. But yeah, Justice Hooney, that last round, very dramatic. But it does raise some questions from this fight because there were at least three occasions where he was hurt by big shots, uh, especially round 10, where he looked pretty much gone for all money. The opponent and Kevin Lorraine has got decent power but you have to also consider he is a former cruiserweight he's come up to heavyweight he hasn't had any what you would call significant wins at heavyweight he's probably a gatekeeper somewhere between um, top 20 and top 30 had a good fight with Daniel Dubois where he actually dropped Daniel Dubois but ultimately went on to lose that fight uh, so you have a situation where a guy who's not necessarily at the top echelon of the division is uh, able to sort of get through the defenses and almost takes you out in that final round. So I guess from this fight, there are questions going forward against the much taller timber and the bigger punches of the heavyweight division about durability. 
And I guess the other thing that crops up, and I know some Justice Hooney fanboys do not like when I say this, but Justice Hooney doesn't have elite power. He's got respectable power, and we saw in the course of this fight, as in many of his uh, earlier fights, he wears guys down, but he's not a concussive puncher. He was wearing um, Kevin Lorena down through consistent um, activity, uh, but he didn't really put a dent in him where you sort of thought one punch was going to take him out or he was going to sort of drop to the canvas. So Hooney is going to have to tighten up on the defense, but I think when he did feel the power from Lorena in round two, he did back off a bit. He did box a bit smarter. It wasn't the sort of guns blazing um, Justice Hooney from the Joe Goodall fight or just trading toe-to-toe -to -toe constantly with some of his other opposition, Kiki Toa-Latelli, and others earlier in his career. But I would say you've got to give Justice Hooney massive credit for taking this fight. He has, I believe, of the heavyweight prospects that are coming through, easily, by far, the best heavyweight record for a prospect under 10 fights, hands down. Kevin Lorena was a massive step up. You've got other good fighters like Joe Goodall, Kiki Toa-Latelli, other good domestic Australian opposition, pretty much the best that was around. And then you have, in his last fight, Andrew Dabiti. It's a really solid resume, and he's been moved quite quickly, and the record really does, is a testament to that. Best win of his career, but the, the what next, certainly there are question marks, for me at least, with durability, and I say again, the punching power, because at a certain level, the punching power in particular matters. And if the defense is a little bit leaky and he gets caught by some big punches, it could be lights out. There was talk um, during or at the end of the fight or just after that potentially guys like Joe Joyce or Daniel Dubois could be names for Justice Hooney. If Daniel Dubois catches him, it's lights out. It's all over. Joe Joyce is more of that sort of thudding type puncher who um, may be similar to a Justice Hooney, but just in a slightly different way, you know, wears you down through accumulation. So uh, that could be actually quite an entertaining matchup with Hooney sort of um, using his footwork and speed to sort of try to pummel Joe Joyce while Joyce is trying to uh, punch through him. So, yeah, I think this was a good win. It was a good fight, a good learning development fight for Justice Hooney. But there are question marks. And if people are saying otherwise, then maybe you just need to sort of step back a bit and have a look at that. Because it's clear he's a talent. He's got good skills, fast hands, good footwork. He's a good heavyweight. He's got a great record for 9-0. and But coming up to that upper echelon of the heavyweight division, the sharp end, the pointy end of the division, people don't mess around. People with power, if they catch him, can stop him. So there are things to work on. I mean, the power situation, that's another thing. But, you know, it was a good win, a good night. Justice Hooney holds on. What a dramatic last round of the fight. That was um, sort of after sort of four or five rounds of really sort of controlling the action. For that to happen and to survive, yeah, it was a great end to the fight, which was, I guess it was bookended. Lorena had success early and late. Uh, Lorena can come again with those sort of, that gatekeeper role, which he kind of now seems to have he will give you good rounds and is a hard out you really have to um, perform well and uh, be on it to beat him otherwise he will take you down drop a comment loud and often hit like hit subscribe follow me on twitter boxing underscore squared i'm out